that type of neighborhood. <laughs> but um, he pulls me over. I put out what I was smoking. He sits me down. We're talking for a good little while. Um, come to find out, my papers weren't intact. And I'm sitting there thinking back and forth. I must have been seated for like a good 30 minutes to an hour. Remind you, this is my 21st birthday. What a way to have a birthday, right? Mike check one two, Mike check one two. It was my twenty first birthday. I remember going outside around eight or nine at night. And I remember going into the car I had at the time, my white pony at Grand Prix. And I remember hitting up a couple of people. And then afterwards I went to an ATM, took out some money. I went to the store. I went a couple of other places, got some things to smoke. And I'm cruising. I'm cruising. If anyone knows Fort Lauderdale, I'm going. I want to say I was going northbound on Power Line, coming from uh, Sunrise all the way up to like probably Commercial or uh, Cypress or whatever. And. And I don't even, I didn't even used to drive my car that often. And I'm like, wow, this one night that, I, that I'm actually going out, that's when I get pulled over. <laughs> I remember the, um, the cop telling me, not thinking that he would actually pull me over. So he actually pulls me over. And we're in front of this hotel. I forgot what was the name of the hotel. I think it's kind of like power line and commercial, something like that. So we're over there. I'm still smoking. I guess he pulled me over because of the smoke that was coming out the windows. I don't know. And But on top of that, my car looked suspicious. I had, like, tents and everything. It, it just looked like a car from that type of neighborhood. <laughs> but um, he pulls me over. I put out what I was smoking. He sits me down. We're talking for a good little while. Um, come to find out my papers weren't intact and I'm sitting there thinking back and forth. I must've been seated for like a good 30 minutes to an hour. Remind you, this is my 21st birthday. What a way to have a birthday, right? I guess I should have just stayed my behind at home, but, um, he's talking to me and not to get into so much details, I remember him giving me a ticket. I thought he was going to take the um, car away from me because that has happened to me all times before. And he gives me a ticket. I'm like, okay, cool. I get to keep the car. And then I head back to my place. But I was as I was seated there for the good 30 minutes to an hour or whatever, I remember thinking like, oh, man, this news is going to hit my parents house and then they're going to have to find out about this i got saved at 16 and at the time i was 21 21st birthday i'm thinking to myself you would think walking with jesus for a good five years i would have learned my lessons by now but nope that wasn't the case so i'm sitting there i'm like uh okay i'm still messing up 
I don't want my parents to have to get involved in this because I'm pretty sure, to the best of their knowledge, they think I'm living life a okay. So that night, I made the decision that I got to move out so that whenever tragedy strikes or something goes left in my life, it's just going to all fall back on me and not anybody else in my immediate circle. And yeah, that was the decision making. I was like, I got to move out. And probably like a month later, I had gotten another job, a second job, and uh, I moved out. And how do they say it? The rest is history.